Mr. Fredrickson, I'd be interested to know if you if you thought there's ever been a better time to invest in shipping than right now. <clears throat> I think this is uh, this cycle. We are quite optimistic uh, because of the the various things that are happening when the bank crisis, all the crises, and obviously we like to invest on a low market like this. So better than other markets you've taken advantage of in the past, perhaps. Yeah, this is uh, been a, this is a great opportunity in, in my opinion. So. Of course, it depends on the economic growth of the world and more than all the shipping. So, Has there ever been a better time to invest in shipping? Well, I'd say yes and no. Um, yes, because in 2006, 7, 8, um, you could basically get payback on your equity in a voyage or two. You'd get 90% finance, you'd put in 10% yourself, you spot a couple of voyages and you'd be recouping your 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 equity um, but no there's never been cheaper to order new buildings some of the newly touted eco ships being marketed lack the substantive changes visible in those examples we saw and may not be the answer to our challenges scrapping young ships is a huge environmental waste and we should not be and we should be spending at least as much energy on optimizing existing ships with new emission regulations uncertainty over the price of fuel and the possible switch to gas propulsion in future we need to make sure that today's eco ship does not look like tomorrow's oil thirsty dinosaur there are too many ships already for which reason i'm not sure that we should uh, invest in new buildings but we have all options open, but uh, we have at this time a very serious surplus of uh, tonnage. And uh, you uh, do not have to expect new building from us at this time. But we may change our mind. That's one of our best abilities, uh, that we can change uh, our mind. And what we, what we uh, mean today, we don't necessarily mean tomorrow. Well, I think the most interesting opportunities is the big ship market. It's obviously the bigger gamble, um, but it's uh, where prices have particularly come off the most. Well, we're buyers right now, we're potential buyers, so we think the market is, if it's not at the bottom, it's close, sort of like maybe the housing market was, or the property markets were a couple years ago. Um, we don't think that there'll be a huge downturn again, there may be a few bumps in the road. So what we're going to focus on is probably uh, second-hand vessels, three, four, five, six-year-old ships. We just see that as a good value point. But shipping is still not a nice word in banking. Offshore is very, very easy to finance. Um, we see it also now in MRs, in product tankers. People are looking again at that. And, uh, and then you have um, LPG is an area, LNG is an area. We call that energy and then everything goes. So, but if you come with a crude carrier or a bulk carrier, then you're not popular. Banks are making more money available and you will see a market which is quite active. Uh, good names have access to bank lending. Our analysis tells us that uh, uh, the bulk market is going to improve uh, already late this year, early next year. Uh, we expect uh, greatly improved uh, bulk markets through let's say the second half of 14 and in, into 15 provided that we don't see a rush of new building uh, orders, uh, which is always the big scare. Risk is on, risk appetite is on for shipping. Um, and, uh, you know, for good companies with, uh, who tick all the right boxes, uh, you know, I think uh, we could see one second half of this year. And I don't know what the future is holding. And uh, I asked a friend of mine, what do you think about the market? And he said, I don't have a clue. And if I, 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 I did have a clue, I wouldn't tell you.